Missouri's Strategic Highway Safety Plan, known as Missouri's Blueprint, a partnership towards zero deaths, speaks to a national trend of increasing traffic fatalities. The Blueprint provides a roadmap for addressing many of the most severe crashes in Missouri and serves as the inspiration behind MoDOT's The Road to Saving Lives Safety Design Build Project. A bold and innovative combination of the design-build procurement method and a data-driven safety analysis seeking to maximize the safety benefit of roadway improvement dollars in partnership with the engineering and construction industries. So design-build allows us to work with our partners to allow them to drive their schedule and their means and methods, which in turn gives us more project for the money that we have available. Uh, safety design-build is but in its nature is a collaboration of partners on all angles of the project, from the design all the way through the construction. You know, this project was all about taking a limited amount of funds and delivering the maximum safety benefit. And it was totally targeted on, you know, which team could reduce the most fatals and the most serious crashes. So the goals of the project were to deliver the project within the program budget of $24.1 million reduce fatal and serious injury crashes by maximizing the safety improvements that we were able to put on the roadway, deliver all the improvements with a reasonable service life and a low maintenance cost, and minimize impacts to the public during and after construction while completing the project by October 1, 2019. At MoDOT, safety is actually our number one value and our tangible result. So it's, it's really a key uh, responsibility of any DOT. Anytime MoDOT is out um, doing a construction improvement or a project on the roadway, uh, we want to look for opportunities that we can improve the safety of the system while we're out there. How the safety design build came about was really, a, it started off with a meeting with our traffic personnel. And one thing we have to do is utilize safety funds every year because we're a DOT like many without a lot of funding, getting the best value out of those fundings is really important. One of the main drivers of going design build on this job was to get safety improvements delivered efficiently and as quickly as possible. So from the start of the project, MoDOT took an approach of wanting to incorporate data-driven safety analysis into the project. Uh, so that begins with the identification of the project locations using historic crash data and then using all objective highway safety manual based spreadsheets to analyze the anticipated safety performance of the proposed improvements by the contractor teams. In the design bid build world where we would have to design 31 different projects, get them out to bid, get 31 different contractors on board, and wait for them to, to deliver those projects versus design build where we do one package of bundled safety improvements, a lot of tremendous efficiency to the process. So the scoring criteria of the project was the reduction in severe and fatal injuries, the maintenance of traffic, uh, maintenance of the improvements, and also the schedule, so how fast can they get this project done. Thought this was gonna be a paving type project with shoulder widening and lane additions. And really when we started looking at purely data-driven analysis and doing cost-benefit analysis on the different improvements, we found that those type of improvements didn't score as well. Even though shoulder widening and pavement widening are beneficial to safety, when you factor in cost, they weren't scoring as well from a benefit-cost ratio as things like high friction surface treatment and rumble strips and striping. The Safety Design Build Project has many improvements on the project that are, are getting implemented quickly. Some of these include high friction surface treatment area, improved channelized right turn, flashing beacons, LED stop signs, transverse rumbles, center line and edge line rumbles, cable barrier, intersection conflict warning systems. So the time savings that we were able to realize by using design build is we were, were able to get 31 different project locations designed and constructed in under a year and a half. I think it's probably one of the most innovative projects MoDOT's ever done because it's the first contract we went into with no preconceived notion 
of what we were going to get for the money. The type of strategies that were implemented and resulted from the data-driven analysis. We've seen a number of different, what you might call low-cost countermeasures applied systemically at multiple locations across the two counties. The safety design project is a good investment for the Missouri taxpayers because it allowed us to invest in multiple areas, multiple routes with solutions that uh, were determined to be a very good benefit for the amount of funds that we were uh, putting aside for that project.